Hello, I'm Kerry Southorn with Leadership Radio, where leadership is more than just a theory. It's right here, and it's right now. So let's talk some leadership. With us today, you guessed it once again, the sage of leadership. <laughs> I love that. Virgil Schmidt from San Antonio. Welcome to the program, Virgil. Thanks, Gary. Good to be here. Uh, uh, Virgil, uh, the topic today that we've been kicking around and we want to uh, put before the, the listeners is the importance of making commitments and keeping them as opposed to shooting off our words and not following through. Just interested in your thoughts. Well, you know, it's amazing that we would even have to bring that up because you would think that's a given, but it's not. Unfortunately, right. lots of particularly middle uh, managers uh, are so guilty of breaking that on a regular basis. Uh, it's really frustrating. And I've been in situations and you have too, where, you know, you can't, you don't have confidence in the person you're talking to that he's or she's going to do what they said they were going to do. Right. And, and that destroys morale. I mean, you wow. want to mess up your culture, that'll do it in a hurry. And um, you're going to end up uh, not being able to retain your staff um, uh, because nobody wants to work in that kind of environment. It just does not produce confidence. Um, it doesn't produce any kind of, um, of camaraderie. So right. you end up uh, defeating the whole purpose. Um, and it's such a fundamental principle of character. I don't understand um, how we can overlook that so easily and violate that principle, but you're absolutely right. It's, uh, it happens all too often. And, and I think it's particularly important in light of what you've been saying there, that if the organization is talking teamwork, 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 and yet the communication is not delivering on teamwork, uh, the, the organization is stifling teamwork mm -hmm. and not communicating properly with the team, uh, it can really build resentment uh, in the ranks. It definitely will. You know, even in, even in customer service, sometimes uh, you'll, you'll bring up a thing to a company you're doing business with and, and saying, hey, you know, this happened and that happened and I'm not getting good service. Oh, look, you're the first person that's ever said something like that. <laughs> and that, that doesn't help. Not at all. The situation. And customer service departments in so many places are one of the most blatantly um, guilty of uh, not following through on any commitments. Right. Um, that they and they make commitments to everybody just to get them off the phone or out of the office. Um, yeah. And that's a that's just a, a dangerous, destructive way to uh, conduct uh, your interrelationships with whoever it is you're working with. So, whether it's leadership or whether it's customer service, oh. if you're not going to do it, don't say it. That's right. No. Well, Virgil, I think uh, I agree with your statement at the outset. We likely shouldn't even have to talk about it, <laughs> but it, but it's something so obvious and so fundamental that if a leader does not uh, watch himself or herself, that what they say is very important and it has to line up with what they do, or the integrity of the leadership gets called into question. Right. Tell it like it is. Say it like you mean it live it like you say it. Well, that's what builds quality organizations. Anyways, let's wrap her up. Remember, leadership makes all the difference when it makes a difference in you. God bless Virgil. See you next time all right, thanks, on Virgil. Leadership Radio.